Lush here and welcome back to the channel. We are back today with another Sims 4 PlayStation 4 tutorial, the basics. Um, this is going to be a tutorial for anybody who's pretty much new to PlayStation or who's had it for a while and is experiencing some changes with all the new updates and things we've got going on and just a way to try and help you guys out with some of the stuff I've learned along the way and hopefully it can help you and make your PlayStation experience a little bit better. So without further ado guys, get your tea ready, get your water ready, and let's get cracking. So first of all, here is our new main menu, AKA the home page. Um, where it says my home here is generally where you're going to get any updates or new information to look out for. They try to just keep you in the loop with stuff, which is quite cool. Um, as I said, we're going to be using the PlayStation control pad. So anything I talk today about will be for the PlayStation only. And so as you can see, it says at the top here, R1, L1 is to move across. You can also do that with the directional pad and move left and right with that see but there we go so you can move across and see what packs you've got um i have actually been asked in the past on the playstation how do you even buy a new pack so you, you know you're like you're new to the playstation you want something new at the moment you can see it says all packs for me are highlighted in blue but if i press l2 or L r2 depending on which way you want to go there we go r2 just moves you across here and you can see what packs you've got and what you haven't so in my case, I pretty much have everything apart from uh, one or two kits. So I'll show you in the kits how you make a purchase um, for new packs. So I have got the Country Kitchen, which I haven't used that, that yet, but I will be making a tutorial on how to actually build um, with the control pad, just a small tutorial on the basic controls. And I'll probably use the, the kitchen pack because that was really, really cool. If you guys are here for it and you want to see a tutorial on how to actually build with the PlayStation control pad, please let me know in the comments below. Yes! But, um, as you can see, we have these two other packs. I've not heard um, any good reviews about the bus, the dust kit. So I'm not going to purchase that one yet, but I will get the throwback fit kit just because I am a pack collector of the sims even though i'm on the ps4 i still want to get what i can get and use it to create what i like whether it be building or my let's plays um so i will get this pack and i'll show you how it would look so ordinarily if you haven't bought a pack as you can see here it'll say unowned but then you'll click into it with the x and then it will show you here Ooh, what's this one do it will show you here what you can get from the pack that's nice i like it okay this looks pretty cool so in order to buy a new pack from the playstation you see where the orange writing is it says go to the playstation store this is going to be four pound 99 over here in the uk and the currency will be different wherever you are but the same procedure you click on the orange button here and it will automatically take you over to the playstation store so that's if you're buying the pack whilst you're in game and then i'll show you what happens when you you click on it um basically you press x and it will direct you straight to the playstation store so i'm going to do that now and i'm going to show you what happens once we've done that okay so once you've purchased the pack you'll be directed back here and it says new content has been installed but will not be available for use until the game is restarted would you like to restart now all unsaved data will be lost so if you're buying a pack and installing it whilst in game it won't actually be activated until you come out of the application and then come back so i'm going to press yes and boot back up the game again so you can see what it looks like once you've purchased a new pack right so once you have bought your pack and you've restarted your game which mind you on the playstation normally takes a while to reboot i don't know why i don't think they have this experience on the pc but to load up a game or to, for some movements it's really really slow even in build mode the movement is very different so if you are new to playstation just be patient with that um you're not going to get that rapid movement i've got great internet and i still move a lot slower than i see pc players move so just bear that in mind but yes once you boot back in you'll be like oh welcome to the sims throwback bit kit yeah so whatever you've just purchased they'll give you a little bit of information about that um 
this is gonna be exciting i don't know how i'll incorporate it into gameplay but it's this is just a tutorial on how to purchase and luckily i did actually have something i needed to purchase as well so um, this is how you get it so you press circle to cancel out of that and now if you go back into your kit um, this is where i've done my purchase I'll, you'll see that I only have one thing left that is unowned but I'm going to wait for them to fix that because I've seen a lot of reviews that this isn't quite working and I like chaos in my sims but not that much I'm not ready for that and I'll, I'll have fun with these so that's how you buy some packs um, again navigating through this is not really too hard those those are some of the basic stuff um, over here you can see this triangle here is the play button so if you press X on that it will take you to your last gameplay so wherever you were in that last or whatever world you're in that will take you there obviously new game is to start a new game load game is where you get an option to choose what profile that you want to play on or what um, save file you want to play on gallery will take you to the gallery where you can share and upload your content and see what other people have got and options it's just the main menu option you press x on that it will just show you just the the gameplay options and stuff uh, while we're here as well um, you do have some options if you press X in it you can see there's a list of things here that are just useful um, you can't see them now because we're not actually in a game but like for example audio you can turn that down like for the pur purpose of my tutorial I turn the audio down just because I like to sometimes play my own music and whatnot but gameplay I will turn it back up because I do like maximum experience of the sims whilst I'm playing a game but you have the option to do that uh, music you can actually find some of the music that you hear in the the sims itself you can get rid of songs so if you're like oh I've heard that song and I don't want it you can go over and whoops you can unclick it and unmark it if it's not for you a lot of these I really like but then you see these are the playlists that we have currently like if you put the radio on in the sims um, so it's really cool that like, you can actually modify your music a bit and um, other again these are just little things that you may not need or you may want um, but for me personally there is an option here enables overlay showing the current controls so the game normally starts with this but if you actually press I press it so you can see what it's like so you press it on and you go to apply changes left applied and then you circle to go back and what will happen if I go into a new game right of my screen it has the button control there so X to confirm circle back we've got the L2 to undo and R2 to redo now this is really useful obviously if you're new to the game and you want to have those on the side of the screen they'll be on the screen in game as well like little prompts so maybe for a beginner if you want to keep those on it's really really cool but if you don't you just go ahead and press the options button go back to game options go ahead and take yourself down to other and then show control legends you can turn that off if you don't want the prompts me personally i don't want the prompts so because i'm just like ah i don't need you get out of my way and then apply changes and then when you press circle to go back those prompts will be off the screen now but they are really useful if you are new to the game and sometimes you need a quick reminder so definitely put that on if you want that um, so the next thing that I wanted to touch on was some um, things that we've had added to the creator sim like the filters but here we have the beautiful lovely Tess I will use her as a demonstration today so first off um, we're going to start with hair color so again, if you use L3 to rotate the mouse around, you can see, I say mouse, but it's the analog stick because we obviously, we don't have a mouse, we're using the control pad. You press X and it will take you straight to the hair. So you press, um, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll stick with the hair. We go all hair, you can just select all of them here. Um, so for hair color, what I tend to do, just an example to quickly if you wanted to change the hair color a lot of people you could be at the bottom you picked your style or whatever and you're like oh i've got to scroll all the way up here to get back to the hair you're like no you don't boo you can go down and i'm using your l3 analog stick again if you just tap that 
to the left once and tap it to the left again you go up it automatically kind of moves it up for you so you can change the hair just press x mm, pink actually looks good oh yeah you're working it so yeah you just use the, um, the left analog, uh, analog stick or the d-pad to um change the hair color even looks nice as well but now I'm gonna sit with that for her <laughs> but yes and then you go back down so you can either as I said use the left analog stick or use the d-pad left on the d-pad to just move and it just pops you up it kind of just snaps you up you can't do it going right though unfortunately so if I'm on this hair here and I press right on the d-pad analog it just stays there but if you go backwards left it just pops you up to the top so that's just a quick way of changing hair color and i also got asked about eye color as well it's the same kind of procedure you scroll down you click on the eyes and then you've got a whole selection of eyes so you're at the bottom here again just press left and it snaps you up to the top there so you can change the eye color nice and quickly i haven't found any like color reels for the eyes yet on the playstation to really customize them I don't think it is a thing but yes you just rotate around with your d-pad or r3 that's just the movement on the cast here and then press x to select the colors you want and then you go across to detail edit mode and this will give you an option again to adjust the eyes how you want so you press x so you get a grip now if we wanted to make like a a pupil bigger or smaller you kind of just you see here we can just mess with the eyes and when it goes to red it means it can't go any further and then again you just rotate it around you can move it like <laughs> it's really cool right so you can have it as big or as small as you like and there you go but what i'll do i'm going to press l2 to undo any whoops any changes that i've made so there we go she's uh back to normal um so that's how you mess around with the eyes if you want to change the eye color or the size or the shape it's just the same and now we're going to try some of the skin tones and filters that we have now so on the face and now we've got some skin tones now if you press x to open up the panel you see we've got some new skin tones guys so if we use R1 to scroll across, we've got warm, we've got neutral, and we've got cool, or we have miscellaneous. It depends how quirky you wanna get. So this was her original tone, but we'll go, let's go here. And now you press X to highlight the filter. Now if we go up, again, you see that it changes. And then we can go down. And it gives you you can do it like in small increments so if you're like oh yes i want this you press x again and then you go down to where it says save and then press x and now your customized piece is here at the bottom so you're like oh okay i made that myself and you can really like get really finicky with it if you want and if you don't want it you're like actually i don't need that in my palette just click on it and delete so if you don't want it you can get rid and that is the same with makeup as well so if we go to the makeup so eyes for example we click on here we'll just go with blue we've got oh yeah we've got some blue right and like that would have changed it so this item um, we actually can change the hue the opacity the saturation and the brightness so with hue you press x and let's crank this up there we go that's gone to orange now like, okay and then you press x if you like that and basically x is your main button to press on the control pad when you're swapping and changing things and then should we take this down so it's not as sharp let's just take this down a bit like that like, okay yeah i can work with that now the saturation hmm want a bit like that so you can really just fiddle around with it and see what colors you, you want to work with like, okay yeah i'll take that and the brightness ooh, what? you can scale it all the way up or we could just take it right down a notch like oh that's cute so you're like okay i made that color i like it and again you go ahead and save it and now that's in your selection 
if it's not your cup of tea and you're like, I don't think I want that anymore, I don't want it in my selection, you just press X to highlight it and then go over here to delete it. And there you have it. That's how you function the makeup and move it around. And as I said before, L2 is to undo anything you don't want. So I'm gonna go ahead and press L2 a couple of times. Um, I hope that you guys found this useful as well. And if you did, please comment down below. And I will, as I said, I will be doing another tutorial on the building side of things. But I just a, like a slow pace, a small room, and just show you how to scale up, scale down. If there's anything else in cast that you'll still like to know, please let me know in the comments below. And I will catch you next time, guys. I hope this was helpful. If I did miss anything, let me know, and I'll see what I can do about that. Um, yeah, so enjoy the rest of your day, guys remember subscribe if you haven't already hit that notification bell and drop a like and i will catch you in the next video good morning good evening good afternoon and i'll see you soon bye